Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video. And in this one, I'm talking about the new update that's added some new levels to Town Hall 11 and how it's going to affect Clan Wars, uh, including the trickle down of Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 9s, because uh, they do get some of the impact from. Uh, this update where we see the new golems and new uh, troop levels for other troops as well as the bomb tower. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, my thoughts on all of that and how that should change the war scene right now in the type of wars we're looking at in CWL and similar. So uh, first of all, it's been a while since I've uploaded, just been very busy. I'm going to get those Patreon videos out soon. Um, for the month of September. So if you've been waiting on that, it shouldn't be a whole lot longer. Um, this attack featured some of those nice level 7 golems. That's part of why I'm showing it. A nice hog attack by Todd on this Town Hall 10 base. Uh, pretty important dip. Um, unfortunately, we lost this war. But anyway, let's get to the topic for today, which is that update that came out about a week, a little bit less than a week ago. Um, and let's start with the very first thing on my list here, which is the new bomb tower level. Bomb tower level uh, six. So this is one level higher than I think max for Town Hall 10. Um, so giving uh, Town Hall 11 their own unique bomb tower level. And I like this change. Um, basically what it's gonna do is it's not going to have a huge impact on 11 v 11 three star attempts because it's mainly going to be La Loon uh, for, the, for that. So it's pretty much just the Town Hall 10s attacking the Town Hall 11s and ground armies are much more common than dragons or any type of air composition you can think of. So I like kind of balancing that out a little bit. Um, moving on to our next attack here, uh, 10 v 10 three star. Um, I like that balance, trying to make it a little bit more difficult to do the ground stuff at uh, 10 v 11. Now it's it's a little bit tricky. It's gotten harder for sure the last few months to do 10 v 11 attacks to get those two stars. Um, so I, you know, it's it's not great that they're making it even harder. But the bomb tower is not going to be a huge change. Just a little bit to uh, to add some splash damage. Bomb towers are typically put next to infernos, um, mainly for the suicide effect they have of blowing up once they are destroyed. So they're going to add even more of a boom to the bowlers, to the Valks, whatever's in the area that just took them out. Um, so I like this change. I think it is good that they're um, adding to the ground defenses of Town Hall 11. Um, to counter the uh, the most popular types of 10 v 11 two star attacks because um, we all want to see some more creative air stuff at 10 v 11 as well. So those are my thoughts there. Another change they're making is adding that level seven golem uh, to town hall 11. And this is something that's going to make these uh, attacks like the last one you saw just that much easier, whether it's the Witch Bowler, whether it's the, um, like a Go, uh, what is it, a Goho, Golem Hog attack. It's gonna make those dips a little bit easier. Um, we might see some uh, 11 v 11 compositions using ground troops, but I don't think we've, we're gonna get enough of a, of a difference being made by the, the Golems and the Valks, which we'll talk about in just a moment. I don't think that's gonna make enough of a difference that we'll see 11 v 11 three star attempts using uh, the new ground troops, but I think it's gonna make a big difference for dip attacks, at least a, a somewhat of a difference for dip attacks. And of course, in the clan castle, Town Hall 9s might wanna consider bringing that max golem, although you have to assume it's gonna tank for the entire time. So you're investing a lot into that one golem, and if it doesn't tank your troops, you're kinda of wasting your, your, your uh, clan castle, which has the best in, uh, highest level troops. So I st still say if you're between hogs or something else, bring the max hogs. You'll get the, the value of the level 8 hogs right away. Whereas the golem, the uh, the damage increase is pretty much negligible. Uh, what attack are we going to? Number 16 here. The the Having a level 6 or level 7 golem versus level 4 golem at Town Hall 9 um, it does a little more damage, not enough to make a huge difference, and it has a lot more hit points, but 
you're assuming that that golem is going to be tanking the entire time, which is putting a lot of eggs in one basket. So I think you should still bring other max troops that are going to do um, that are the damage troops because you get that extra DPS right away. Whereas the extra hit points is dependent on uh, on you getting the full life of that golem as tanking, which doesn't always happen even for the level four golems that you bring of your own. So um, I'm not going to see golems probably in the CC. Uh, very much in terms of attacking the defensive CC now with level 7 golem um, Maybe see more town hall 10s put that in their clan castle Maybe even some town hall 11s or some town hall 9s who knows um, It'll make that a little bit of a better CC option But in terms of attacking not going to be a huge difference uh, in any town hall level although it will make um, Town hall 11 ground stuff a little bit easier. So um, along that same line we have the Valk level 6 Level 6 Valkyries now at Town Hall 11, and they look pretty cool. I like the design of them. That's also the Golems, too. I, I love the Golem, probably even the Golems even more. The Valks are okay, but the Golems look very cool. So, uh, anyway, the Valks, uh, level 6 being, is level, yeah, level 6, I think I said. Yeah, that's right, being added. And um, this is something I don't think is going to have a huge difference. We don't see Town Hall 11s using Valks at all, pretty much. Uh, for their 11 v 11 attempts or for their dips on town hall 10s i don't think this is going to change that um, the only thing it might do is um, town hall 9s and town hall 10s might bring some cc valks now that they can get some higher level valks than just level 5 maybe maybe not um, there might still be better options to bring in your cc uh, but if, if you are doing some kind of attack that involves a valk kill squad definitely something to consider now we'll have to wait and see how effective they are but they look to be you know significantly better than level five valks and um they could make enough of a difference to be worth bringing in the cc although the numbers kind of add up weird so you have to bring like some barbs or some wizards along with them to fill the rest of the cc space of course for defensive clan castles i think that's what's going to make a very big difference um because valks are already very popular in those defensive ccs now we're going to see um the defensive ccs pack even more of a punch to uh to attackers so i think that's that's one thing that I'm uh, that I think's a cool change. The CC should be a little bit more powerful than it is right now. So let's move on to another attack, and um, let's talk about that air sweeper level seven at Town Hall eleven. Uh, sorry if you hear the clicking. I'm kind of looking at some of my notes I wrote down here before the video. Um, but for the air sweeper, I'm thinking it's also going to be a good change. I'm I'm on board with all these changes. I think they're not going to ruin the balance of anything. They're just going to improve uh, what we already have. So uh, the air sweeper level seven. This is going to um, help defend 11 v 11 three star attempts using uh, mass la loon. Not to say it's easy to do that. It's just that is what's pretty much exclusively used in the top uh, war scene for any 11 v 11 attempts that are possible. Oftentimes we don't see them uh, in most wars, but when we do see them, it's gonna be a masked Laloon or some kind of kill squad based Laloon. But this is gonna help defend those air attacks and hopefully the new troop levels, uh, the Golems and the Valks might breathe a little bit of life into some ground compositions for those um, always rare, but still fun to see 11 v 11 three star attempts. Um, but probably more importantly, this is going to uh, make it a little bit harder to use dragons and um, any other air compositions uh, that we see very uh, occasionally uh, for 10 v 11 two star attacks. So the sweepers were already pretty um, annoying to deal with if you're doing a dragon attack, but now you have to consider the fact that those dragons um, without any spells on them are just gonna take forever to fight to those air sweepers. So um, even more important to either freeze them or have a rage or something to keep those dragons moving. But this is going to, you know, in a way make the dragons harder. So we have the bomb tower and the air sweeper, both kind of, I guess you could say mini nerfing, not a huge change, but just doing a little bit to make 10 v 11 two star attempts harder, both from the ground and now from the air. So, um, I guess I'm not as big of a fan, um, of the air sweeper change as I am the bomb tower change, but um, I don't think it'll ruin things too much. I think uh, dragons will still be usable for two star attempts, which is always cool to see. Um, all right, so let's move on to the last one here, um, which isn't very exciting. It's just going to be uh, those 25 extra walls 
added to Town Hall 11, not extra walls, but 25 more level 12 walls you can build. As you guys know, there's a cap on the number of level 12 uh, walls you can build. So make the, uh, the Town Hall 11s have some better walls. Um, it'll cost some more wall breakers to open up those exterior walls in certain situations. Not a big change, but sure, I'll take it, you know. I guess it's a good change, not a huge, um, not of huge importance, but whatever. Um, so that's the last change. Those are my thoughts. Overall, I think a pretty good update. I'd like to see more stuff, Town Hall 9, 10, even Town Hall 8, because a lot of people are there. Um, but this is going to trickle down. You know, the Town Hall 8s will be affected by the Max Valks. Um, so it's not exclusively a Town Hall 11 update, even though everything's being changed at Town Hall 11. You have the trickle down effect, uh, but still I'd like to see some more stuff being changed around more directly at the lower Town Hall level. So those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to get some more videos circulated throughout the week. I was very busy, so I had to take um, almost a week off uh, of uploads. Um, but I'll get right back to it, and we should have some of those Patreon videos coming up soon for the month of September. Um, it's a little late. I like to do it at the end of the month, but um, better late than never. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.